night. Since recreational marijuana sales started in January, dispensaries have made over $174 million in both medical and adult use sales. That's according to the latest report released by the Department of Revenue. And that comes out to over $25 million statewide in taxes, $22.5 million in adult use sales tax and $2.4 million in medical use sales tax. In just under two months, on October 1st, Lewis and Clark County will start collecting an additional 3% in local option tax on all mar marijuana sales after voters passed two ballot issues in June. MTN senior rep political reporter Jonathan Ambarian went beyond the money and dug into the data to see how the number of DUIs attributed to marijuana have changed since the start of recreational sales. A report from the Montana Department of Justice shows the number of DUI cases in which a suspect has tested positive for marijuana has increased over the last few years. And leaders with the Montana Highway Patrol say that matches with what they've seen on the roads. But it's an issue that's more complex than just a single number. The information comes in the annual report from the Forensic Science Division, commonly known as the State Crime Lab. In 2021, the first year after possession of marijuana was decriminalized in Montana, the lab reported 621 DUI cases where samples tested positive for THC or the products it breaks down into. Leaders noted that's an increase of 17% over 2020 when there were 530 such cases. But it's not a trend that only began then. In 2019, there were 460 64 DUI cases testing positive for marijuana-related substances. There were 454 in 2018 and 284 in 2017. MHP Sergeant Jay Nelson says the agency can't point to one factor to explain the entire increase. You know, I think it's a combination of, of all of this. I mean, uh, uh, to say specifically it's about legalization, I don't think we have the data to show that. Another trend has been a jump in DUI samples showing multiple substances. In 2021, the crime lab reported 127 cases where someone tested positive for both alcohol and THC, and 205 where they showed alcohol, THC, and another drug. Pepper Peterson, president and CEO of the Montana Cannabis Guild, says that data backs up their contention that few drivers are being cited for marijuana impairment alone. What we're seeing is that people who are traditionally impaired on something might be adding marijuana to the mix. The increase in reported cases also comes as law enforcement puts a greater emphasis on finding cases of drug-related impairment. For the last few years, all MHP troopers have gone through training to identify signs, and some undergo more extensive work to become drug recognition experts. And it's just uh, so important in today's use where, where we have poly drug use statewide. Currently, 27 MHP troopers out of more than 250 statewide are trained as drug recognition experts. And leaders say that shows the emphasis they're trying to put on addressing DUI. In Boulder, Jonathan Ambarian, MTN News.